One time, this was back in, uh, my gosh, 1987. I was like 14 years old. And, uh, I was sitting towards the back of, uh, Miss Kathy Ford's class. I think it was a language or a writing class or something. Anyway, I was, uh, while, while horsing around in the back of the class, I was playing with this long um, piece of rubber strip that was used for uh, wrist rockets, slingshots. Well, anyway, Miss Ford saw it and she confiscated it for, for me for the rest of the class. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I mean, that's nothing new. Anyway, throughout the course of the class, you know, everything went accordingly and all that. Towards the end of the class, after a um, discussion of the summary of one story that we were discussing, I raised my hand, I mean, it was a very straightforward uh, question, and knowing that uh, I was still fresh off the plane from coming in from the Philippines, and uh, not having any idea of the sense of humor in my statement when I said, Ms. Ford, can I have my rubber back? And then all of a sudden, it's a big burst of laughter came about, I'm thinking, whoa. Well, it was so funny, but I just had to stand there straight and just like um, be cool about it. I figured, well, it looks like they're not really laughing at me. They think it's funny. It must be about something. And uh, Miss Ford, she st she began to blush. She had this really red flush on her already pink-looking face. Anyway, she says something to the extent of. Oh, how cute, Danny, well, whatever. And, yeah, I got it back, you know, at the end of class. After, um, you know, went right, right as soon as we fouled up to exit the door. And I never got that joke until, like, I don't know, until, like, a day later when a buddy of mine, Brian, educated me on the, on the lingo there. Thinking, oh, damn. Well, damn, that was pretty funny, but I felt pretty embarrassed, too, just more due to my ignorance to it, but at least that joke was on my side, you know, can you dig?